Hey everybody, it's Jennifer Fields coming to you today. It's a gorgeous morning here in Denver. And I wanted to ask you a question. How do you deal with unexpected surprises in your day? Do you react hastily to them? You know, do you, do you think of a solution right away? The reason I ask is I was greeted with a little surprise this morning. As you know, I have an online business, a couple actually. I, I am on my computer all day long. And this morning, I got up early and, and went to get online and I couldn't connect to my internet. That's kind of a problem when you work online. <laughs> and after an hour on the phone with my router company, my wireless router, uh, we connected with my internet service provider and found out my modem was malfunctioning, it was just dying. So I had a choice, I had three choices actually. I could wait to get a technician out to my Apartment, which we all know that that can take a long time and I actually this afternoon have to go uh, be out of my office and, and be somewhere else for the entire afternoon. Two, I can have a new modem mailed to me three to five business days. Or I could go run out to a service center and just go swap it out for a new modem. So that's what I chose to do. I threw my morning a bit. and But you know, even in the shower this morning I was thinking, you know, I need to get a video done, I need to get my blog post done, I need to get some training done, you know, and I have to be at another uh, gig this afternoon from about 2 o'clock on and into the evening. I have a, an evening commitment, so it really threw me. I thought I could get a ton done this morning, but it didn't turn out that way. But, you know, even when I was taking a shower and getting ready, I thought, well, I mean, I can do a video here um, out to where I had to come get my new modem. I can squeeze in a blog post this evening and um, it'll all be fine, it'll all work out. This is not the end of the world. Uh, and actually, making a little trip out to this little suburb just outside of downtown Denver is great. And the place I had to come to, I'm actually sitting out at an outdoor mall. I've never been here before. It's gorgeous, there's cute little shops and restaurants, so I'll actually be back here. And I thought, well, if my modem didn't uh, freak out on me this morning, then I don't know if I'd ever be out here. I mean, this is a pretty cool, little shopping center. I love these kinds of things, especially in the summertime. Just lots of outdoor seating with restaurants and then, you know, shopping that's kind of outdoors. I love that. Um, so, you know, I just made light of the situation and now I have my new modem. I'm going to go home and set it up and hopefully I'll be good to go. But, you know, I, I, I could have easily freaked out a, a few months ago. Honestly, I would have probably thought my entire day was shot and, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? But, you know, with the little work that I've been doing, with, with reframing my mindset and, and so many tools and, and things that I'm learning with, with the prosperity team and the group that I'm in, you know, on, on ways to be successful and to approach your days and, and keep a positive mindset, it, it really, it's really helped. It really works because I just really take whatever situation comes my way and I just look at it in a different way and, and reframe it and because of you know the positive mindset that I carry around with me and you know today is a few months ago I would have thought my whole day is ruined and today I just thought well it's not the end of the world it's not a big deal really so I have my new modem I'm sure I'll be fine for a couple more years so anyways something to, to maybe think about in your days you know when challenges arise because they will they they will I mean unexpected things happen all the time and just need to look at that instead of a big problem we need to look at that look at that and think you know what okay how can I work around it like what's the situation what are my options and how can I just get through this and get back on track so I hope you have a great day I'm gonna go head home and um, hook up my new modem and get back online I hope you have a wonderful day if you're interested in the work that I'm doing go ahead and click the link below and I'll see you tomorrow have a great day